Oh, yeah. He's back. Time for more of the Rod Peterson Show. Welcome back to the RP Show, everybody. As you can see, we are back in the bunker for one week's time. And uh, then we'll be at the World Juniors, by the way. The World Juniors are back in Edmonton this summer, August 9th to the 20th. Single game tickets are on sale now from $40. I'll tell you right now, let's open the week because we're a date late opening the week. Text World Juniors right now in all caps, World Juniors to the number you see on the screen, 902-518-3033. And each Friday, we're awarding a pair of tickets to a pair of lucky winners to the games of your choice. So do it now, and this Friday we'll award the winners. And we got one more segment left with Ryan Murray, Stanley Cup champion from the Colorado Avalanche. And before I look ahead for your career, let's just look back for a second. Speaking of the World Juniors, 2012, um, I didn't see you per se, but I was calling the games and you were playing. That was quite the wild tourney. What do you remember about wearing the Maple Leaf and those wild games? Yeah, it's a pretty cool tournament. I mean, especially in Canada. Um, you know, I only played the one year, so I didn't, you know, other guys went to Europe and stuff, and yeah. then they'd come back to Canada and be like, this is way better, just because, you you know, you're selling out NHL stadiums and you're in junior, so, like, it's just a crazy experience. And everywhere you go, it's just, a, it's such a, it's such a big deal. You know, the, the fans are just, are, are so crazy about it, and everybody just loves that tournament. The timing of it's great. It's on holidays. Everybody's on holidays watching the games, and it's just like, a, I don't know, it's just kind of a perfect storm of hockey, and it, and it really works out really well in Canada, and so I was glad that at least you know we got we got to do it in, in Canada. It's too bad we we didn't uh, didn't win the thing. We had the team to do it. Obviously, I think you you do almost every year in Canada, but didn't work out for us that year. But uh, you know, looking back on it, just the, the whole experience of it, it's just done up so so intensely with all the media and stuff and and the fans and every restaurant you walk into, it's like you get a standing ovation and you're just going in for dinner or something. So. You know, that kind of experience is pretty crazy. Yes, and it's back in Alberta, as I mentioned, and tickets are on sale now at HockeyCanada.ca, starting for as low as $40. We'll be broadcasting live from Rogers Place for two straight weeks, beginning next week, uh, before and during the tournament. And um, just, I got to ask you, because this came up, I was in Calgary for 17 weeks, as I mentioned to you, the semifinal game against Russia. They had some pretty big studs on that Russian team, and you guys had studs on your team, but you fell down 5-1 yeah. and came back, and it went to overtime. It's like the wildest game ever. I don't, I don't think we went to overtime. Eh, close. We were close. 6-5 we one- you lost, whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, you're right, 6-5. Good five, memory. So, um, yeah, we had some bad bounces in that game. I had some bad bounces too, particularly, but uh, I thought we were going to come back even. We, we had it going there, and... Um, you know, we had such a good team and, and, you know, I thought that we, we could have came back and that would have been a crazy, all time crazy comeback and just didn't quite get her done. And, you know, you, people ask me all the time about, about that, that year and like even that game and stuff. And it's like, you know, I don't know, it's just, it's such a crazy tournament and that, you know, you get to the, the what is that, semis or quarters, or whatever. That was the semis, yeah. That was the semis. So you lose one game and, you know, you, if you get seven, it's, it's probably a different story, but, you know. You lose one game and, and it's over. So it's uh, it's it's kind of a tough tournament to win that way. But you did win a bronze. Uh, you beat Finland. Mm-hmm. And I just where do you where's that medal? Do you remember? If you were had, had yeah, you I know where it is. It? I know where it is. I don't like to say where it is, exactly it is, but I know where it is. Um, and yeah, I mean it's a cool thing to have. I remember the coaches and everybody being like, you know, you're playing for bronze. Everyone's disappointed, and it's such a quick turnaround. They're like. You know, you're, you're going to look back on this and, and be glad if you if you win a bronze medal because you don't want to play for the bronze. But if you're in that situation, it's like you might as well try and win. So um, looking back on it, do I care that much about the bronze? It's like, I don't know. You always want the gold, right? Like that's it's kind of like how people feel about a silver. You're, you're proud about it. You're proud of the accomplishment. But yeah, I mean, looking back on it, you just, you just have two. You might have one or two cracks at it, you know, so yeah, it's, you only get a few at it. So it would have been a nice one. to. Well, I get why win. you wouldn't want people to know. Ask my cousin, Logan Pyatt, who had his gold stolen. I think that's yeah. I think I remember hearing that never returned. Yeah, so, he's from Belgoni. Yeah. Milestone. So, okay, Milestone, okay. Saskatchewan. Yeah. yeah. Look on the wall behind me. <laughs> <laughs> that's where he's from. Uh, hey, so you mentioned. You're without a contract as we sit here right now, which I don't think scares you. You've got uh, veteran status, and it, but you're not still young, so you plan on fairly playing young, yeah. fairly young. How are you feeling? I feel good. Yeah. Yeah. I've just been uh, yeah, I've just been training since I got back and stuff, and 
and uh, you know, trying to stay in, in good shape, and and uh, we'll see what uh, see what comes over the desk here. But um, yeah, for now, just kind of training and try to get my body where it needs to be. You've been in this situation before, though, as a free agent. Yeah, right? couple. So. What have I been? I guess just one year. Just last year was my first free agent year. Well, how did you end up in New Jersey? Uh, I got traded from Columbus, and it was the second year of a two-year contract. So I was already under contract. So it's kind of like. You don't really have a choice, but as a unrestricted free agent, there's just you know, there's a lot of places that you can go if the opportunity is there. So that's that's kind of cool being able to being able to kind of choose. Like last year, there was quite a few teams calling and stuff, so it's it's cool to be able to do that. Well, it worked out well for you last year. Definitely did, yeah. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like, what's your anxiety level on a scale of one to ten? You seem a little antsy about where you're at right now contract wise yeah I don't know it's uh you know I think you'd always want to do you want to have a long-term deal I've had a lot of injuries so I don't think teams are going to offer me a long-term deal which is fine it's just you know you just want to get like I said I just want to get my body in, into a place where it's just like build up some you know a lot of muscle where you can you can go out there and play and and uh you know my body's feeling really good right now and and uh you know I've been able to speak with a lot of good doctors work with a lot of good trainers and stuff and so I think I've taken a lot of good strides there but yeah, I mean, you just kind of sit and wait and see if see if something right comes along. And me and my agent have kind of been talking here and there. So, um, you know, trying to stay a little bit patient. But uh, if the right thing comes along, then you just kind of take a stab at it. Just a couple questions from the viewers. Jason and Red Deer says, Ryan, besides McDavid, who's the scariest forward bearing down on you? Oh, I don't know. Um, probably like Kucherov. He's just so... So slick and, and uh, you know, McDavid's just blazing speed and you, you really got to watch him. But a guy like Kucherov, he's just so so shifty and you don't really ever know what he's going to do. You can't read him. Ask Aaron so Ekblad. Yeah. He's <laughs> do you a, remember that? He's just so smooth. Like, he just comes in and just, it's like he's playing half speed, but he's, he's, going, he's going fast. But he just kind of looks like he's half speed He doesn't look fast at all. It looks like a tank. It's crazy. And then he makes plays like you just wouldn't. I don't know. He just he sees guys that you don't even see, and he's a, he's a heck of a player. From John Chan, Ryan, would you be willing to play for a Canadian team? If not, why? Yeah, of course you'd be willing to play for a Canadian team, I think. Especially for me, I've never played in Canada on a Canadian team and being from Canada. So, um, you know, I've been in the States my whole career, so I think it'd be kind of cool to to experience that and maybe guys who have experienced it like we were talking about before they might want to go somewhere else but I think it'd be cool one more from John in Edmonton Ryan what do you think of Arizona only having 5,000 fans next season at a smaller arena the guys I don't know I don't know it's gonna be it'll be weird but you know if they can pack that thing I don't think it'll be too bad you know if they can because they struggle with fans down there sometimes so if they can pack that uh if they can pack that small rink, it might be a better be atmosphere. Fun. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Listen, enjoy the rest of your summer. Congrats again, uh, following you a long time, and enjoy every single second with a cup. I know you will. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Appreciate it. Ryan Murray of White City of the Colorado Avalanche. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching the RP Show on YouTube. And don't forget, we're live daily on YouTube from noon to 2 Eastern. If you like what you see... Hit subscribe, and if you like the program, check around for other segments of The Rod Peterson Show here on YouTube.